the, oh gosh, I don't even know what these are called. Oh, it says it on the front. Hello. What just happened there? There. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got another haul and PR show and tell video for y'all today. So as you probably saw from the thumbnail, there's a lot of stuff here to go over. So I'm gonna quickly run through all these things. I'll start with the things that I purchased myself and then I'll let you guys know when we're switching over into PR stuff. So yeah, lots to talk about, so let's jump into it. So I placed an order from JCat Beauty. I had seen Holly from Holly Forest. I think her channel used to be like Holly Eats Lipstick, but I think it's just Holly Forest now. She talked about one of these. What is this called? The, oh gosh, I don't even know what these are called. Oh, it says it on the front. Hello. <laughs> These are the Rock in the Night Sparkling Powders. Oh my gosh, the one she was wearing and that she talked about, I think it was maybe in a favorites or something, just looked amazing on her. So I bought several of them. I think that they were like around like $3 a piece. They were super affordable. So I got a bunch of different colors, like a turquoise, a white, a kind of rose, well, kind of a coppery color. Oh, what is this? Like a champagne -y color, a gold, and then I, I think this is the one she talked about, which was um, Champagne Kiss. And they're just basically like glitters, like really finely milled glitter, which I love. So I haven't worn these yet. I kind of forgot that I got them because I got them a while back. So I'm definitely excited to wear these. Then I ordered the Sleek Eye Divine palette in Goodnight Sweetheart. This is a limited edition palette. This one looks really pretty. I'm excited to wear this. I think this would look really pretty with Champagne Kiss. I do have swatches of this palette on my Instagram, so if you wanna see swatches, you can check there. What just happened there? There, now you can see it. <laughs> it's just a really pretty, like, rosy, burgundy type of a palette. Um, I really like sleek shadows, and I don't show them enough love because I feel like they're really nice quality, and this one looks like a fun, fally kind of a palette. I mean, look at that. That's pretty. Like very kind of blue brown pigmenty. And they're around, I think, usually like $12. So they're super affordable. Some sparkly goodness type items here. So I got another one of these, the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. Oh, I love these. This one is in Talia. And I'm wearing this on my lids today. And I kind of like, I don't know if it doesn't look perfect, I'd already done my makeup and then I was like, oh man, I wanted to wear this. So I was kind of like trying to apply it over my mascara without messing everything up. And I don't know how I did. You'll have to let me know. But these are beautiful. I have Lottie and it's kind of like a, I don't know, purpley taupe color. This one is pretty much like, I don't know, champagne white but it's amazing. Let me show you a quick swatch. There they are layered together. I mean, it's just like crazy metallic, crazy glittery, and I love it. If you don't like crazy metallic, crazy glittery stuff, you wouldn't like these, but I think they're really, really awesome. A little bit messy, a little bit hard to work with, but still really beautiful. And then I got one of these. Oh goodness, I forgot what it's called. This is one of the Moonplay Cosmetics stroboscopes and I got the color Val. Um, I'd seen Samantha Sherman talk about these and then my friend Tara from War Paint with Tara. These look beautiful and I am wearing this one today as my highlight. Val is like, it's like this beautiful kind of pinky color. This thing is giant, giant. So it was pricey. I think it was, I think it was around $50, but I mean, this thing, I mean, this is like, I'll have it until I'm 80 or I could divide it up with, you know, 10 friends because this is a lot of powder, but this is such a pretty product. Now this one in Vow does have glitter, like little micro fine shimmer. I think it's gorgeous. I love the shimmer in it, but if you don't like shimmer, this one may not be the one for you, but I don't know if they all have that kind of shimmer in them or if some of the colors are more kind of like less glittery, more just a sheen on the skin, but it's beautiful. I mean, it blends like a dream. It wears really well. I love the color. I feel like the swatch isn't really like showing how pretty it is because I feel like on the skin, it's so, so gorgeous. So I really do like this. I think the packaging is really pretty. 
I do wish it wasn't so big. I wish it was maybe like half the size and half the price. I think that would, you know, be nice. Um, but it is really pretty packaging and a gorgeous product. I placed a small ColourPop order recently. I just got three things, but I did go ahead and swatch them for you. So first I got the Super Shock Shadow in Paisley. This is kind of a pretty, sort of like a topper kind of a color. I got um, Muse. This is, I think, part of the fall collection. It's a really pretty kind of rose gold burgundy. I feel like this lid isn't going on correctly, maybe. I'm always nervous I'm gonna like dry them out, you know? And then I got one of the Super Shock Cheeks. This is in Flexitarian, so this is one of the highlighters. And I had seen several people talk about this and wearing it on Instagram. This is amazing. Let me show you. Okay, so right there, can't really see that one very well, but that one is Paisley, so it's really kind of more of a topper. And then this one is Muse, and then the top one is Flexitarian. What? I've worn that already, and it is so, so pretty, really intense, but just a gorgeous highlight. So I'm really happy with those. This one, I could take it or leave it, but I really do like those. And then I placed a Makeup Peak order recently. I got some of their new shadow colors. So I got Early Bird and then Sidekick, kind of like a, I don't know, warm brown sort of a color. This one is Lucky Penny. This one's kind of like a bronzy sort of a shade. I'm gonna swatch these for you. And then this one is Nostalgic and this is Legend. So two new foil shadows. Let me swatch these. Okay, so this one is Early Bird, Sidekick, Lucky Penny, Nostalgic, and Legend. All really pretty, and those would be really gorgeous together. Make a really nice eye look. And then I got some drugstore goodies that have been on my list for a while, and there were sales, and I had coupons, so I went ahead and got them. So first off is this L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette. This is in French Biscuit. So you guys know that I bought the blue one, and it was terrible. But apparently I just kind of like picked the worst one from the group. And I think this is supposed to be like the best one from the group. So I do have this in my crease today and this is really, really pretty. I will swatch all these things in a second for you. So yeah, I would say if you get one of these, I would get French Biscuit because it's really pretty. I got one of the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blushes. I love these, I have two other colors. I think I have Innocent Flush and Baby Blossom. So this one is Tender Rose, and this seems really pretty. Again, I will swatch in a second. I got one of the Rimmel Kate, another one of the 15 year anniversary lipsticks. I hadn't seen this shade anywhere yet, but I found it at CVS, so I went ahead and got it. This is 54 Rock and Roll Nude, and it's a really pretty kind of like pinky nude. I love these, I love these lipsticks. They're so comfortable. Got another one of the um, Maybelline Color Blurs. Look at that sticky stuff all stuck to it. Those darn little like security stickers that you gotta get your goo on to get it off of there. But that's okay, first world problem. So this is one of the color blurs. This is in Partners, Partner, just one, Partner in Crimson. So really pretty kind of like dark red. And then um, this one I heard Candace from Fancy That's Fancy That with Candace talk about this in a best and worst video. She was talking about L'Oreal stuff. I've never tried one of these lipsticks. They, I don't even know what these are called. I don't know what this is. I think it's like the Infallible Pro Last lip color or something. I'll list it for you guys below. But this one is in 112 Unending Kiss. I do have this on. I have a gloss over it, but it's really, really pretty. And then lastly, one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. This is in Blushing Ambition. This had been like one I'd been eyeing for a while. So let me swatch all these things. Okay, so here is the quad. Really, really pretty. I have these two mixed together in my crease today to kind of like take that down just a little bit to make it a little bit lighter. And these blend beautifully. So I love that quad. I think it's so nice. The blush is swatched along the bottom there. Really, really pretty, kind of like a just a soft, wearable pink. It's not super bright. It's kind of more of like a muted mauve pink. Really, really beautiful. I love that. There is that Rimmel lipstick right there. Really beautiful kind of pinky nude. Next is the Maybelline Partner in Crimson. I love these now. 
I used to really not like them, but I love them now. And I have quite a few of them. I keep kind of like picking one up here and there and I think they're great. Now, this is this one. This is uh, Unending Kiss. So there's that really pretty kind of like slightly shiny sort of a pink. I mean, you see it on my lips. That gloss changes it just slightly, but not by a lot. And then lastly is Blushing Ambition. Now that was a lot brighter pink than I was expecting. Like just looking at it, it looks more muted in real life. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but it looks pretty muted, kind of like a soft pink and it's pretty bright. I, I still think it's really pretty, but it's brighter than I was expecting. So just know if you get this one, it might look a little bit brighter in actuality than it does in the container. Now we're moving into PR goodies. So first off from Octoly, I got the Dr. Brandt Needles No More Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. It says smooths expression lines. Now I don't have like full on wrinkles, I, but I do have some like beginnings of fine lines on my forehead. So I did use this a couple times and I could tell a difference. Like even just with, you know, they're really just kind of on these sides and it's it's because I talk. I'm expressive when I talk and I don't want to not be myself. So if it means that I have fine lines and wrinkles one day, then so be it. I'm going to be myself. So anyway, that was a little bit of a mini tangent, but the couple times I have tried it on my fine lines, I do feel like I can see a difference that it is smoothing them out. And I've heard really great reviews on this from other people who have used it and said that they really do like it. So yeah, pretty good product, and I was really excited that I got to try it. And then Ofra came out with some new kind of contouring sort of products. These are the Skin Sculpting Wands. So there are four different shades, so I've got those. And then they also sent me their Expanding Makeup Sponge. It says, Ofra Perfectly Perfecting Puff. Not Perfectly Puff. Perfecting Puff. So I actually have not tried this yet. Let me feel a bit. I keep forgetting. I've been meaning to try it, but I don't use beauty sponges a lot, so... Um, that's why I haven't remembered to use it. Just dry, it feels a little bit harder than the Beauty Blender or the, um, Ulta sponge. So I'll have to try this out and let you guys know in the future, um, what I think about it. But I have tried these and I really do like these. I have these all swatched on my Instagram, so check there if you want to see swatches. Um, but they have different shades. So there is the lightest color, Dawn. You know what, let me just swatch them. Starting with the lightest shade, that is Dawn, and then Sunrise, Sunset, and Dusk. So I have used the lightest shade um, as a highlight. I really like that. The one I've used the most is this one right here, which is Sunset, and it's a beautiful, like, cool-toned, sort of a contouring shade. I really like it. I find that these are easy to blend into the skin. Um, I've used a small stipple brush, but I bet that a beauty blender would work even better. Like the, that's probably why they sent they sent the sponge with it because I could see how that would work even better. So I need to try this with a sponge, but even with um, just a small stipple brush, I've really liked them. I blend them with my fingers too. So yeah, I really like those. I think they're a really kind of like innovative sort of a product. Surprise outfit change. A couple more things came in the mail that I wanted to include in this video. So that's why I look different. It's a different day. So first off, Ofra has a new collection out and oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Y'all know I love me some Ofra liquid lipsticks. There are a lot of shades that I love, but this collection might be my favorite that they've ever come out with. This is the Vintage Vineyard Liquid Lipstick Collection. So there are three in this trio. You can buy these individually or as the trio. And then there's a metallic color as well. So this is Tuscany, Bordeaux, in the middle is Bordeaux, and then that one is Cape Town. So these are all named after famous wine capitals around the world. And then this one, the metallic one is Napa Valley. I love their new packaging. It's so pretty and just like fancy looking. So I have them swatched here for you. Are these not amazing? These are so gorgeous and fall, but also like just a really cool spin on fall, you know? Like we've been so into the browns lately and a lot of the colors that are coming out are those kind of brownie sort of shades, but these are just like those beautiful wine colors. Love this collection. So this is Tuscany, that's Bordeaux, that's Cape Town, and that's what I'm wearing right now. And this one is Napa Valley. Oh my gosh. Just love them. 
So excited about this. And I love the name of the collection, the Vintage Vineyard Collection. So, so cute. So let me double check. Yes, so the three can be sold like this, I believe, or yes, it says matte shades, um, also available as a three pack bundle for $49.70 or sold individually for $19.90. And then I guess this one is, um, the metallic one is just sold individually. But I love this collection so much. And I got these three things from Oxley. These are by Kaylin. This is the Icone Gel Liner. So there is that cute packaging on this, and this is in the color Apple Red. And then this is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint, and this is an Expressionist. So let me show you this in the packaging. And then I have all the swatches for y'all. So there is that one. And then this one is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet, and this is in Notable, number 37, Notable. So let me read about these. Um, this says, divulge into an opulent blend of rich matte pigment and luxe velvet. Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet nourishes the lips for the best smoother than silk non-drying finish. The Luminous Gloss Formula smooths over lips for an instant burst of full coverage velvet color. With the comfort of all day water and kiss proof wear of water, comfort of all day water and kiss proof wear, the silky coating dries instantly and prevents any feathering or mishaps. From soft and sultry to dark and alluring, Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet are available in 12 addictive shades. And then this one says, the regular one says, witness an explosion of color. It's simply chic. Kaylin Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint creates a vivid explosion of color on lips with continuous coverage at last. A unique infusion delivers a waterproof, non-sticky matte finish in a single stroke, available in 16 addicting shades. So let me show you the swatches here. So the first one is the liner, the Icone Gel Liner in Apple Red. The middle one is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint in Expressionist. So that one is that one. And then the other one is the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet in Notable. So yesterday I wore these um, kind of in the evening and I mixed these two. So maybe that kind of affected how they wore, but I loved the liner. It was a really nice texture to it. Um, wore well, really, really, really like the liner. These are kind of like more of your traditional thin formula of a liquid lipstick. And while I liked the way it looked on my lips and they felt nice, they didn't feel drying. So I was impressed with how they felt they almost immediately did that line thing, and when I ate, they pretty much went right away. So, I don't know that I would say they're kiss-proof or waterproof or, you know, all that, but um, they're more of your traditional liquid lipstick. Now, that one is bleeding on my hand, but I didn't notice it doing that yesterday, but I was wearing it with a liner. So, I don't know. Um, I like the color of them, but of the three the liner is really kind of the standout for me. Then I got the cutest little package from Too Faced. They are just so adorable in their packaging and they're just such a cute, happy brand. I just love them. So then you open it up and it says, Better Than Sex, the mascara that changed the world. And there's some little buttons in here. They're so cute. And then the Better Than Sex mascara, which I do like this mascara. I like what it does for the lashes because it gives really nice volume and just gives you really dramatic lashes, which is what I like but it does smudge on me, but most mascaras smudge on me. So kind of a bummer about that, but I do like it. It is one that I keep in my freelance kit. I don't do a ton of freelance work, but when I do, that's usually the mascara that I use on clients because it just looks so pretty on the lashes. So if you've never tried it, I think it's a great mascara. And then Pacifica sent me a couple things. This is the Dream Big Lash Extending 7-in-1 Mascara. All this could be yours. Instant length, lift and separate, volumizing, conditioning, rich color, lash serum, two-in-one brush. So I have tried this before. I think they sent this to me before in the past. So you like have the, I'm not gonna open it. Um, let me show you the back where you can kind of see like what the wand looks like. Um, Cause you can like twist it each way. And I did like it when I used it. I wasn't like blown away, amazed by it, but I do feel like it did a pretty good job with the lashes. So. Not my absolute favorite, um, but worked pretty well, especially for being a more natural brand. And then this is the Natural Eye Pencil Waterproof and Long Wear, which I like their pencils too. I feel like 
really most of the things I've tried from Pacifica I've liked. Um, I tried like their BB cream one time. I did not like that. But other than that, um, like their eyeshadow palette I think is nice. I think their mascaras are pretty good. I can't get this out of here. I got it out and it's all sealed up, which I already have an open one of this, so I don't want to open it again. But it is a nice black pencil and I find it to be fairly long wearing. I would say not the most long wearing. Um, I'm trying to think of what I would compare it to. Maybe like the Urban Decay 24 seven pencils. Those actually like don't stay all day on me. Um, so I would say it's about even with that. And it's nice that it's 100% vegan, cruelty free and natural. And then Laura Geller totally made my day when they sent me these things. I was not expecting this package, but I love them. I love her. I love their makeup. So it just totally made my day. So I have a little card here talking about what these items are and like where they'll be offered. These are the latest holiday offerings and the best of baked palette and the color luster. These will both be available at Ulta.com. And then this one is the Mistletoe Mix Two Piece Touch Up Duo. And this is going to be a special Black Friday kit that will be on lauragellar.com. And I have a coupon code for you guys and I'll list it down below and kind of like where you can use it because I'm not sure if it's both websites you can use it, but I'll list the code for you down below. So let me show you some swatches of these things. Okay, starting with the Best of Baked palette. So I am wearing this on my face today. I have the blush on and then also the bronzer. I've never tried this bronzer, but I love it. This is in medium. The blush is pink buttercream, which I already own that one and love it. And then the highlighter is golden rose. I'm not wearing it today, but I've worn it multiple times and it's so pretty. And then I am wearing the shadows today. I do have them on with the L'Oreal shadows in my crease and then that glittery shade on my lids. So there's a lot going on with my eyes today, but just know these shadows are on my eyes somewhere. <laughs> so I, I really like all these products. Now I would say about the packaging, I do wish it were a little bit more like compact and not as much like space around the products, but I really like the products inside. You do get like a double-sided brush. I haven't used that yet, but that's a nice little added bonus. And there is a nice big mirror there. So let me show you swatches of these. So there are the three face products and there are the shadows really pretty. I feel like Laura Geller makeup is just like enhances your beauty. You know what I mean? It's not over the top makeup. It's just really pretty, beautiful, girly makeup. So I really like that about that. It's very like, it's very fresh sort of makeup. You know what I mean? So really pretty set there. The glosses are in strawberry cream and rhubarb crumble. So I'm wearing strawberry cream today over that L'Oreal lipstick. So you can see them there really pretty and glossy. They're nice. A little bit sticky, but not super sticky. I've mentioned this before when I've tried her other glosses. Um, I would say they're right in between where they're just sticky enough to stay around, but they're not uncomfortable sticky. So I like them. I think they're a really nice formula. Really, really pretty. They don't have a scent. I was hoping that they would have a scent, but I've sniffed them like crazy and I don't smell a scent. So I would love if they, have a, if they had a scent, but they're a really pretty color and a nice formula. And then lastly, the Mistletoe Mix, the um, color that I can show you swatched is the Love Me Do Lip Crayon, and this is in Fig Prosecco. The other thing you get in here is a mascara. This is the Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. I don't think I've tried this. Maybe I have, I don't remember. I'll have to try it and let you guys know. But there is Fig Prosecco. I wore this the other day. This is so pretty. I love that color. It's like a, like a rosy terracotta color but it's got like a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, love that. So love all these products. So like I said, did I say this? I have a coupon code. I'll list it down below for you guys. And lastly from Influencer, I got the Flawless Vox Box. So it's kind of like a fun little collection of items in here. So I haven't tried out most of this stuff to be honest, um, but I'll just show you a little preview. So this is the Sinful Colors um, Kylie Matte says trend matters. So I guess this was from her collection. I really don't use sinful colors 
nail polish as much anymore because the smell on them is so strong. I just, I don't know what kind of chemicals they have in them, but they smell really chemically. So I don't really use them very much anymore. I was excited about this. I'm trying to close it back up, but I'm failing miserably. So that's okay. Okay, this is the So Lashy, the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. It says Lash Finder, bold, sexy lashes for all lash types. So it's supposed to be kind of like a unique sort of a wand, and I love CoverGirl mascaras. They don't smudge on me. They're just awesome. So I did try this out. Really interesting applicator there. It really is kind of like cool and different. So I tried it and I don't know yet. So far, I'm not super duper blown away um, at first application. You know, they had their other one that is part of the Blast Pro and I wasn't a fan of that one, but I love the Lash Blast. I love the orange one. I love the um, Clump Crusher. I love the Super Sizer. I even like the pink one. So I like all those, but I didn't like the Blast Pro and I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of this one either. I just feel like it didn't give as much volume or length. I'm not wearing it today. But I didn't feel like it gave as much volume and length as the Lash Blast ones. And these are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. It says removes waterproof mascara. Kind to skin. No harsh chemicals, artificial perfumes, or dyes that can upset your skin. So that's really nice. I will definitely use those. I did already try these, which I love these already, but I've never tried this specific flavor. These are the Harvest Snaps Original Green Pea Crisp Baked, and these are the Lightly Salted. I like the other ones better. I've tried the, um, I think there's like a ranch one and a wasabi one. They just have more flavor, but if you like more just like the flavor of peas, I think you would probably like just the Lightly Salted ones, but I like the ones with a little bit more flavor and a little bit more spice. A couple of packets of Yogi Tea. This is the Honey Lavender Skin Relief Helps to Calm and Ease Tension. And then the Soothing Rose Hibiscus Skin Detox Supports a Healthy Glow. So that's nice. I really don't drink tea a lot, but maybe I should because it sounds like it's a good thing. And then the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. I've never tried the Simple one, but I really do like the Garnier one and also the Bioderma. So I will try this and let you guys know. And then lastly, some Epsom salt, right? Yes, Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. Relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint. I do like Epsom salt. Sometimes I use it like after a massage or just if my shoulders are bothering me or something like that. I'll soak in a bath with Epsom salt. So this is nice that this is relax and relief because I need to relax every once in a while. I'm kind of a go, go, go person and I have a hard time just slowing the heck down and relaxing. So maybe my Epsom salt will help with that. All right guys, so that wraps up this haul and PR show and tell. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you've been picking up recently. What have you really been enjoying that you've been grabbing recently? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.